up YouTube world. So it's been a, about a couple weeks now since we did anything. Uh, and that's because uh, we've all been dealing with the good old COVID. Uh, everyone's good, so wasn't that bad. So whatever anyone else tells you, that's not my experience. It's only what I've experienced, and my experience was lasted about four or five days for me. Same for my wife. Ricky was be was pretty much symptom free in two days, and thank God Brooke was good the whole time. She had a little sore throat. That was it. So that's my experience. So you can use that however you want, but everybody's different. Remember that. So we've been working on some things here. We got the Morris Miner, Miner Mistake. That bad boy's uh, rolling. Uh, I just gotta keep going on that eventually. So the Nova, I'm gonna show you what we did to the Nova. I am gonna fill the transmission up with some fluid because the transmission is finalized. So we got the transmission cooler lines run. We got the cooler in the front here. That's all nicey nice. It's got the lines run all the way to the trans drive shafts in. Uh, fuel lines, fuel pump, fuel tank, um, brake lines all rerun to the rear. I'll show you. We'll go up in the air because I got to check a couple things anyways. I got the shifter cables in. We ordered the new shifter because we're going with a little bit different style than we had. And battery cables are all in. Uh, we'll finalize those once the carpet and everything is laid in the trunk. I don't want to mount the battery until the carpet's back in the trunk. So right now though, it's open exhaust. So we are gonna try to get the car fired up for the first time in, oh, I don't know, probably six months. Almost a year. No, six months. It's been like six months. Not that bad. Let me grab some train. So yeah, the only thing I got left going on from the COVID is a little congestion still. But nothing bad, it's really just my nose. But it's also 15 degrees out. So that doesn't help either. Let's see what we got here. Thought I had transmission fluid. Hold on. I have this. I think I got some in the trailer. Because it's a 4L80, so it takes full synthetic Dextron 6. Yeah, we're going to go in the trailer. Thought I had it out here, but I don't. So let's go, because I want to put about, because everything's empty, so I'd like to put, probably going to put 10 quarts in it, if I can find 10 quarts. What do I have here? So I have, that's not even a quart. We'll just use that up. I think I have a whole nother full four gallon. So this is just two quarts. Maybe taking a trip to the store. Why? I gotta put some fluid in the trans. Can't start to dry. I know. You have a you at least have a little. Surprisingly, the battery was in my trailer for and it, six months, and we cleaned off the terminals, put battery cables on it, and it has power. I can't believe it. It actually held power. All right, let's go to the trailer. We got to grab it. Okay. So. All right, we can show them if you want. So we got the fuel lines all run. Come over here, bud. So we got the fuel lines all run nice and neat. We got the new brake line to the rear. These are your trans cooler lines. They run all the way to the front. Everything's all fast and nice. Uh, drive shafts in. It's a little dirty because I was grabbing it with my hand. Uh, it's currently in park. So we can fire this thing up. But as you can see, the fuel lines all the way. I kind of hit them all. The brake line came around, put a new flex line. So we got the fuel pump back in, fuel tank, fuel filters. It's all wired back up. And the rear diff 
we got the new brake lines. I went with the nice coated lines because I didn't want to, I don't really want the silver, the basic lines because they end up tarnishing and looking gross. So it's all in so I can put some fuel in this thing. And the pump already turns on, I already tried it. So everything's wired properly again, everything's good. So once we uh, get some fuel in it, I got enough fluid in the trans now. I got about nine quarts, give or take, which will be enough just to fire it. Um, it is open exhaust. I do not have exhaust on the car yet. That's, uh, we ordered a, a universal exhaust kit so I can make it up. So it's gonna be loud, but that's okay. Loud is fun. But I just gotta make sure it's in park, which it is. So that's good. That's it. So let's try to fire this thing up. What do you think? Cool. All right, cool. Let's lower this thing down. Okay. Why are we still video? Yeah. It takes forever to come down. I know it does. Yeah, it's, just, it's an old lift. So we're gonna the really right now the exhaust I gotta do and we ordered the kit uh, or it's gonna get ordered getting ordered today um, once I have the exhaust on that way it, it can be moved around I just waiting on the shifter that's ordered the uh, Really, at this point, if it runs and everything seems okay, then uh, we're just going to bleed the brakes and start working on the body and get it painted. So let's grab some gas. So, because I did so much welding and cutting, I had the ignition box disconnected for safety purposes. So I was trying to start it and it wasn't plugged in. So that's why I wouldn't start. Are you ready? She loud. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna over here. Okay. It was shaking the ground. All right. So this thing needs exhaust. <laughs> a little loud. Yeah, real at least, loud. At least we know everything's good, so we're good. Mhm. Mm so now we can finish the exhaust. Nice. It's a snotty little motor. No, it's a loud one. I know. Sounds good. That fuel injection runs good. I was wondering why it wouldn't start. I was like, why is this thing not starting? And plus we didn't get a spark. Well, there was no spark, and I'm like, why, why did I have any spark? And then you look at the ignition box thing. Yeah, I realized my ignition box was disconnected. So I was trying to be safe and not burn an ignition box up from all the welding, and I forgot that it was not connected. No big deal. No big deal. Once we get the like shifter. So let me disconnect the battery. So once we, we once we get the shifter. We should have the shifter this week. No, uh, once we get the shifter we can um we could drive it. Yeah, I'm not driving it in this weather. Definitely not driving it in this weather. Yeah. There's way too much salt in the ground. Uncle Marky will have a, a conniption. This car's from California. Doesn't sea salt. Get it? Sea salt, as in sea salt, sea salt. <laughs> Those are dad jokes. <laughs> I'm not funny. 
I forgot those weren't even bolted on. Nope. So, the good thing is, we're going to get the exhaust on. Yeah, so the next, really, the next step is exhaust, and uh, once the exhaust is on, then I can do the body. Start mm -hmm. working on the body. Which, yeah. actually, I can still work on the body, it doesn't matter. So, I'm not worried about it. Awesome. Here. No, it doesn't. Let's air it out a bit. Gotta air it out. It stinks. I'm amazed this battery lived all that all that time in my trailer. Cold. Who opened the door? It's cold. You did. Oh, okay. All right, so we're not doing this or this. We got to put the rug down first. And I got to fix the wires actually to the rear tail lights because I had to cut them because when we did the. Main Where? Tail, they're inside over there. So we got to rewire those actually. So we'll do those. We'll fix that and then we'll, uh, we'll actually start messing with the uh, trunk back here. We'll try to get the carpet back down. Okay. All right, cool.